hello guys today i'm going to show you how to uh, pass through a gpu onto your vm uh, inside android so the first step is to go to your android server's web interface and go to the info tab in your android server's web interface so if you go to the info tab you should be able to see whether hvm with, uh, which is a hypervisor for uh, hypervisor option for uh, vms and iommu is enabled or not if these two options are enabled that means you need to go go back to your uh, bios inside uh, your motherboard and uh, check whether these are disabled or not so if it is disabled enable them then come back to your web interface and see whether they are showing enabled if you don't have uh, io mmu especially normally you, you will have the hypervise option inside your uh, bios in bios but uh, sometimes the IOMMU option is not there. The reason for that is that uh, your processor doesn't support IO IOMMU. Normally the newer processors support IOMMU groups but older ones doesn't. So if you have a newer one which is, uh, if it is an AMD, every Ryzen processor should have it and FX series also should have it. If it is Intel, all the higher end and mid range processors should have it very low end processors normally wouldn't have this IOMMU option so you need to check that also uh, after enabling those things you need to go to settings and you need to go to VM manager and you need to enable PCIe ACS override so this is not re uh, required for us to pass through the VM but it is good if you have enabled it um, so when enabling uh, better to select both but for now in my in case i'm going to select multifunction uh, so afterwards they will ask to us to restart this server so after restarting the server now what you need to do is uh, you need to pass through the v, uh, vg card to your vm so those things that i told before are a must if you are going to do this and create a VM on your Android system and if you are going to pass through a GPU onto your Android system. The first step is to download a vBIOS for your specific uh, GPU. So if you have already uh, a vBIOS on hand, you can use that for your specific GPU or else you can go to Tech Power Ops uh, vBIOS collection. So in that collection, what you need to do is you need to set the parameters according to your GPU in hand. So currently I have a Zotac GTX 1050 Ti. So I have set the parameters according to those things. And uh, here I can see the four 1050 Ti is available under Zotac. So here you can see uh, there are four options. Uh, from those four options, I have OC edition. So under OC editions, there are two VBIOS options. Uh, these two options means that there is a newer vBIOS for the 1050 Ti but uh, I'm going to select the older version which is this one and I'm going to download that so okay, okay. so after downloading the vBIOS onto your PC you need a hex editor to edit this vBIOS the reason is there is a part of the header uh, in a header inside the vBIOS which the Nvidia doesn't allow us uh, to uh, pass through consumer GPUs on um, onto VMs, so we need to remove that part, and then only we are able to pass through the GPU to our Android VM. Sorry, uh, the VM which we create inside Android. Um, okay, so first to edit this VBIOS file, we need to download the application called HXD Hex Editor. So. I will have the uh, have these links in the description so that you can easily download it. Uh, under that, you need to go to the download page for Windows applications, and from here you need to select one which is suitable for your language. So after downloading that, so I already have downloaded this. So after downloading that application, so which is this one, install it onto your PC, open it up. After opening it up, you need to uh, go to File click open and select the file you just downloaded from tech power ups website which is our rom file i'm going to select this file and click open okay now what we need to do is we need to 
identify the part of the file which we need to remove from this so to identify i have a small part which we don't need to remove but using this one we can identify the section uh, which we need to remove so i'm going to copy this one and i'm going to select search and click find and i'm going to paste it here and i'm going to press ok so here as you can see it searched that part of the file and showed it to me so this part we need to keep it so the parts that we don't need are on top of it so i'm going to select this part and i'm going to press erase so they're asking us whether to proceed or not i'm going to select ok so now it is removed from our uh, bias file but now uh, we need to save it as a new file so we need to go to file save as uh, in the desktop i'm going to select this as uh, z1050 ti dot dump you can give any name as you want but the extension should be dot dump uh, i'm going to press save okay so the file is saved in the desktop I'm going to copy this file now and we need to paste it inside a place of our Android server where we can easily um, select the path and give it to the, um, uh, the VM that we are going to create. So for me, I'm going to open my Android systems cache uh, path. The reason for that is inside uh, my Android server, all the VBIOS files and my VM uh, drives are all saved inside my cache so i'm going to open the cache drive and i'm going to go to virtual disk inside that i have a folder named as vbios and here i'm going to paste the file i just create okay now what i need to do is you need to go to the web interface of your android system now we need to go to vms and we need to select the VM that we are going, which we are going to uh, pass through the GPU to. So for me, this the VM that I'm, I'm going to use is the test VM. So I'm going to select edit. So if you scroll down, you normally will have only one option, but in this case, you should have two options, which is VNC and your GPU. So currently I can see my GPU. Uh, I'm going to select that. So here they ask in the ROM, uh, ROM file which we just created and copied to our Android system. So here they're asking the path. So easily you can give the path from here. Uh, what you need to do is, you need to select the place you, where you just copied it to. So in my case, I copied into MNT. So normally this is the place where you should give it. So inside cache, inside virtual disks vbios so after vbios you normally cannot select it if for you also if this uh, thing is occurring uh, simplest way is to type the path manually so here you can just type it so in my case i have just copied it to my drive so i'm going to copy this path and i'm going to paste it here and in the end you need to give the file name so which is this with the extension you need to give it with the extension so i'm going to copy this one and paste it in the end and after giving the rhombus path you need to uh, select the nvidia hd audio controller uh, this is our nvidia cards hdmi audio so without selecting this option from uh, the Android VM's configuration menu, the NVIDIA uh, GPU doesn't pass through to the VM. So definitely, even though you have uh, another uh, audio card, you definitely need to select the NVIDIA's built-in uh, audio controller. After selecting that, uh, what you need to do is select all the other things and press update. That's all. So after that is done, you need uh, you need to install the operating system as you would normally do after that just install the uh, vga drives and that's all 
after the drivers are installed uh, you should be able to see your GPU under here so in my case I am able to see it under display adapters so if the drivers and all the other things are perfectly installed your Nvidia GPU should be under your display adapt options so that's how you pass through a GPU easily so for this you don't need two GPUs or anything else just the GPU in hand and IOMMU uh, and VM option should be enabled in your BIOS and uh, that's all so thank you guys for watching uh, subscribe my channel and have a nice day thank you